Keith, coming to the Florida Keys, the biggest question is, what type of property should I get? Well, what's your lifestyle? How much time are you gonna spend down here during the course of the year? Are you gonna be a winter bird uh, to get away from the cold weather up north? Are you comfortable with the temperatures in South Florida for the summertime? Do you want yard maintenance? Do you want to mow your own grass? Do you want to paint your house? Do you want to pick up and clean up? We've got wonderful luxury condos down here, all the way down to modest condos that the fees are reasonable. And we've got the luxurious condominiums with the ocean views and the Gulf views and the bay views. Uh, you have to decide how much time you're going to spend here, whether or not it's going to be used as a residential property. Some people come down and try to use them as income producing properties. Uh, these are questions that you should ask your realtor because in some communities we have deed restrictions that don't allow transient activity. You have just a handful of properties that allow seven day or less rentals. Most of the county uh, requires 28 day minimums. So a 30 day or monthly rental is all you're going to be able to rent. So that's 12 times a year. We typically can get a lot more for the monthly rentals down here, uh, but it just depends on the property. Most people that spend the kind of money that you're gonna spend to buy a piece of property down here don't want anyone else using their property. But if you are looking to defray the cost of ownership with taxes and insurance, you will not likely pay for a property in the Florida Keys through rental. You can mark my words on that. But there are certain situations if you work hard enough and you use the outlets available to you, local brokerages love to have rental properties. Our phone rings off the hook. <clears throat> we can't keep enough inventory for vacation rental down here. Long-term rentals <clears throat> are, are difficult and expensive, but they do come available. Don't come down here in November or December looking for a seasonal rental. You wanna come and start asking for one in April or May when everybody's moving out and they're planning for the next fall season. But think about how much time you're gonna spend here. That's what the question really is. Is it my primary, is it my seasonal? Am I just gonna spend part of the year here or most of the year? Or if I'm gonna split my time here and rent it out part of the time? All of these things, you work with a qualified real estate professional. They can help you find the right property to meet your needs. I'm Keith Allen. I want to be your realtor. Come see me. 305-481-5544, therealkeys.com.